going on y'all so i'm over here at the big pond now um i've seen so much otter sign i'm, I'm trying to trap otters over here i literally was over here yesterday and i saw two otters out here like swimming around in the big pond right here so i moved a couple of my traps around put some more lure out trying to catch otters and i think i caught two beavers today one of them looks like a really small beaver and uh i've got something but on two of the drowning rods over here i can see where i caught two animals one of them i'm almost for certain is a small beaver you can see him but the other one uh he took the trap on down further into the water but i'm pretty sure that's a beaver as well so i'm not sure what's going on with the otters over here they've been running circles around me but we're gonna keep trying i'm uh probably gonna end up adding some traps to the other side of this pond as well i think i'm gonna put a kind of bear over there because it's almost like a little outlet over there where it like goes to a creek and um all the traps i have over here are on really good slides so that's why it's kind of surprising that i haven't caught more than i have but let me show y'all this little beaver right here y'all see it not the uh target that we after but we'll take them all right i put a little uh i think i put some big pile beaver lure which is from dunlaps i put a little bit of that over here y'all see it worked out it's a pretty small one got him by the back foot Oh, well, he's not as small as I thought he was. Whew. It's like a mid-sized one. But, uh, let me pull him up here so we can get a better look at him. So, it's not a giant. But, you gotta see it. Got him by the back foot. He clearly wasn't going anywhere. Y'all see, it's a it's a lodge out there. Which I was wondering if it was still active because I've been seeing so much otter sign. Thought maybe the otters had taken this spot over. But uh, it looks like the beavers are still out here as well. So I'm probably gonna keep my traps out here for another week or so and uh, see if we can't catch another otter. And then we will go from there. So let me reset this. And uh, we'll go check the other trap, see what else we got. All right, so this spot, I had a lot of uh, otter lure right here. So I was hoping to catch an otter right here, but that sure looks like it's a beaver. So let's see what we got. Even though we were trying to get an otter right here, this uh this crossover is so big that I'm pretty sure they use this spot all the time. Yep, that's what we got. Another beaver. Another mid-sized one. Those two look like they about the same size, maybe. Oh nah, this one's bigger. I can see it now. Ugh. That's a pretty good one. Let me get him up here. Uh, got him with a front foot catch. Yep, y'all see it. This one's much bigger than I thought he was now that I got him up here. Oh, that's neat. It's got a hole in the tail. So, no water, but we got two beavers. So let me go ahead and pack him up, uh, <laughs> reset this. Then I'm gonna go check over there on the other end, by where that little uh, outlet is over there. Probably put a 280 or 330. Hopefully we'll catch one of these otters, cause I mean, I've seen them out here swimming around and there's sign of them everywhere. 
So let me go ahead and reset this and we'll be on the way. Hey, I figured I'd let y'all see this one one more time. This, this one's a little bigger than I thought he was. I'm gonna weigh him when I get to the crib. This uh definitely bigger than that first one over there. It's probably in like the 30s, would be my guess. 30 something pounds. But we'll weigh him when I get to the crib and we'll know for sure then. I'm gonna go over there and, uh, oh man, this tail is huge. This, this tail is over probably a foot long. That's crazy. But uh, looks like I got some skinning to do today, y'all. But let me go ahead and um, check this other side over here. See if I see somewhere to put a counter bear. Just want y'all to see them next to each other. The one on the right is obviously the bigger however too. The one on the left probably is like 20 something pounds. And uh, this other one, he might be a little over 30. But we will see when we get to that house. Y'all can see that is a big, big tail right now. But all right, we're going to walk around to the other side right quick. You know, we'll be out of here. All right, y'all, I'm down here at the pond again. We've been trying to catch an otter out here, but um, over the past few days, we have caught three beavers and no otters. Um, When I set the traps, I literally saw the otters swimming out here, but um, we haven't had any luck with them. And I think the otters are kind of nomadic, so, you know, they'll just move around and travel. So they may be gone for now, but um, we have another catch right here. I can't tell what it is. The trap is pulled way down, so I, I can't see what it is. So, it's probably gonna be a beaver, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Which, that's cool too. But, um, we hoping for an otter, but more likely than not, it's gonna be a beaver. Y'all see it's a lodge out here. So, apparently it's just a ton of them out here. I mean, like I just said, over the past couple of days, I've literally caught three out here and, uh, I had one yesterday, matter of fact. One of the three was just yesterday. And uh, I didn't bring my camcorder over here because I was like, well, it's just another beaver. They might not want to see me pull another beaver up again. But um, I think I recorded it with my phone to like put on Instagram or something like that. But anyway, I'll, uh, I'll throw it in here, matter of fact, right now so y'all can see it. All right, y'all. I'm down here checking some of my drowning sets. And I see the trap was gone. I looked out here, I see a flat tail. So we got a beaver right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull him up so we can see, see what we got, see how he's looking. I thought it was a small one at first, but the more I kept looking at it, it looked like it's a decent size one. Oh, Whew. Boy, this ain't heavier than I thought. Ooh. There we go. It's probably like in the 35 to 38 pound range. I caught one about this size in uh, a couple traps down over there on Monday. So I'm about to take them on to the crib, get them skinned up, and we'll go from there. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, reset this trap, see what else we catch. Um, I'm actually down here trying to catch otters, but apparently it's just a ton of beavers over here because I didn't caught like three this week alone in this one spot. So, uh, let me go and take this thing to the crib, get it skinned up, and uh, check back in with y'all in a minute. But we're about to go and pull this trap up and see what we got. Usually I can see what it is, but right now I cannot tell. So it makes me think either it's a otter or a really big beaver. Because they pulled the trap so far down that I can't tell what it is. So let's go ahead and pull it up. All right, y'all. See what we got.
Another beaver. I knew it. This is crazy. So many of them out here. <laughs> Another one. And they keep being decent sized ones too. Oh yeah, this is a pretty big one, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see this. We have to throw it up here so you can see how big he is. This might be the biggest one I done caught this season. Man, that's crazy. So we got a real wide flat tail on it. So, I don't know. I'm contemplating pulling these traps. I may move them back over to the other pond. Cause I think the, uh, I think the otters have moved along. They'll probably be back at some point, but they are not here right now, apparently. So, I don't know. I'm trying to contemplate. I'm gonna leave these traps out here another couple of days, or either I come back, get all of these traps, and move them over to the other pond. I'm gonna um, determine what I'm gonna do after I go check the other pond and see if we got anything over there. That's crazy. Let me pull this thing up so y'all can see what we got. All right, y'all. It seems like each beaver I keep catching is just a little bigger than the last one. So one yesterday was 40 pounds. And this one's probably around that same range. Y'all yeah, see it. That's a big one. I would guess it's in the upper 40s. But I'm gonna take this one home and get it skinned out. Y'all already know the routine. Let me move back. I don't know if y'all can see it. But yeah, each day it seems like I keep catching one that's just a little bigger than the last one that we caught. But uh, I don't know. I was trying to get an otter out here and apparently they done moved along. So four beavers within a week out here on this location. I've caught, um, I think two on a trap over there. And I believe two on the trap right here, all in drowning sets. I have conner bears out here too, but this season I haven't caught anything in, in a conner bear. Haven't caught anything in the season last year as well in a conner bear. So I think these beavers might be trap shy. The otters too, I can't get anything to go through a conner bear. But uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna go onto the crib, skin this one out, and uh, we'll go from there. I'm gonna go check. I got one more spot to go check to see if we got anything. And uh, if I catch one more otter, I think I might call it quits with some of the water traps for the season. We only got like a week of season left. So if I catch one more otter, my plan is to pull all the water traps and then only focus on coyotes for the last week of the season. This is, this is crazy. I caught a ton of stuff this season, y'all. But let me go ahead and reset this and then I'll determine if I'm gonna come back here or what I'm gonna do. If I'm gonna put these traps back in or go on to the next spot. So this is a crossover right here where they come out the swamp to come over to the pond. And that's literally where I caught this huge beaver at. He probably either came up over this crossover, was headed to the pond and stepped in the trap that I had right there. And then it uh, drowned him right out there in the pond. So I don't know if he was going or coming, but y'all see how I got the trap set right there in this crossover. That's what you look for a lot when you beaver trapping. And it's literally where we caught him. That's a huge one. This is the biggest one I caught this season. Oh, 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 oh,